I don't even know what this is. Oh, it looks like it was made to go in this. Okay, it's early Sunday morning. What else do you do on a Sunday morning? You make pickles. I'm really excited to make them. So yeah, here we go. So the first thing you have to do is you have to put your lids in a saucepan, bring it just to a little boil. You want the coating to get warm so that when you when you seal them, it stays sealed. You're gonna wash the Kirby pickles, little guys that we've actually made in our garden. And you just gotta cut the little end blossom pieces off because you don't want that in the jar because it will create... There's a type of enzyme apparently and it doesn't make for a good canning experience. So you cut the little end pieces off. It's cool when you're able to grow your own vegetables. And you know what, when I smell these pickles, they smell like a pickle, even though I've done anything yet. It makes me want to eat it. So I need one and a half cups of apple cider vinegar, one and a half cups of filtered water, and then two tablespoons of pickling salt. Couldn't find any, went to four different grocery stores and all I could find was kosher sea salt coarse because every single grocery store was out of it. And then we do eight garlic cloves peeled. Four teaspoons of dill, two tablespoons of black peppercorns, one teaspoon of red chili flake. Somewhere in this house is a measuring cup. Where did it go? Aha. One and a half cups of apple cider vinegar. And that's gonna go into this. One and a half cups, hey? That seems like a lot. There we go. One cup. This is one cup, right? Yes, one cup. And then half a cup. God. I forgot about the lens. Okay, those are simmering down. Now I need one and a half cups of filtered water. How many tablespoons of kosher salt instead of using pickling salt. So you want, how many tablespoons? Two and a half. <gasps> cool as shit. Almost leaked out. Now, do I put this in the water? Combine the water, the vinegar, and the saucepan and bring to a boil, okay. This smells really briny. Now equally divide the garlic cloves. So I need to do all my garlic cloves. Equally divide the garlic cloves, the dill seed, the black peppercorns, and real chili flakes between the jars. Okay, get off me. We'll do our tiny tablespoon in each jar. How much, how much chili flake? That is a teaspoon. And then you want the garlic cloves. How many garlic cloves? Eight, oh my God. Oh, we have seven. <gasps> It's a sharp knife. Okay, so take off all this skin a little in. Two, of course a fire couple comes in right now. No one said that doing this would make your back hurt. Four, oh, apparently I had eight. <gasps> Thought something was on my toe. I need to go, oh, where the black pepper? Please be open. <clears throat> well, how many black pepper forms? One, two. Oh, the jar smells so good already. Okay, now I need to cut these into spears. Oh my God, it looks so cool. It's the inside of a nice looking cucumber. This is fun. Oh, I just, you know what? I'm cutting a piece off for myself to eat right now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna taste the pickle. Cucumber. Yes. <gasps> God, be right back, boiling. Okay, the water's boiling. My lids are ready to be lidded. I gotta put those in the thing. I don't know if I have enough. They're gonna be too long. Am I calling it? Well, that just means I get to eat a bunch of the ends, leaving a quarter inch headspace. Okay, well, we need a little bit more off that. Who would have thought that making cucumbers, they've got really short, really quick. These are great. Okay, that's getting full. You know what? I had. I didn't split the garlic cup. How am I supposed to fit this all in the jar? <sighs> what a waste. Well, it looks like we're making two pickled jars and this is just gonna be to eat. Pour the brine into the jars, leaving a quarter inch headspace. That's the amount of space between the surface of the brine and the rim of the jar. I have definitely done that. Remove any air bubbles from the jar by gently tapping them. So now I get the lids. Oh no, I had to put the brine. That would have been a mistake, but... 
How the hell do I get the brine into the jars? Do we have a funnel? Of course not. Who would have a funnel? I'm not a baker. Oh, <gasps> what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, it looks like it was made to go in this. Except it's gonna stab cucumbers. No, it's not. Not on my watch. You know what? It'll pour. Good enough, good enough. <laughs> okay, now I have to be very careful. This is already not being careful. I really hope that I have enough brine for my next. Well, that worked a lot better than I thought. I don't even know what this thing is that I'm using. I just found it in a cupboard. Yeah. Uh, whatever this is, it's awesome. But the I am beyond amped at what I've just done right here. Now it says tap to get rid of air bubbles. Is this how you do it? It says use a wooden spoon. There's a wooden spoon. Here, do you guys know this jingle? I'll give you a clue. Da, 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 da. I don't even know what song that's from. I just know the tune. Oh yeah, my lids. If processing jars for shelf stability, lower jars into your processing pot. Pot? Okay, I don't want to. If you choose not to process your jars, let them cool before putting them into the refrigerator. Let the pickles rest for at least one week. Fully disappointed. I was expecting to have pickles tomorrow. Got my lids. I'm gonna do like that guy does on TikTok. <laughs> Look at that! There's gonna be pickles in a few days. Now what else does it say? Wow! Nutrition facts. 28 calories per pickle and a ton of sodium. Okay, so it looks like I've let them I've let them cool. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Give them a shake to move around all these spices and stuff like that. This is actually a lot of fun. I might do this more often. Pickles. Done. What should I can next? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, wait for more. Peace.